Let us all pray meditating on God's words. Father of blessings, Almighty Father, forgiving Father, loving Father, consoling Father, healing Father, everything inside us you, you, that you will even change our personalities. We believe in your almightiness. Today, all of our wishes, please fulfill them. All this we pray in Jesus' name with thanksgiving and blessings. Amen. So repeat after me, son. So today is Chinese New Year for the magpie. Magpie, magpie, that was yesterday. So today is our New Year's. This is, we used to sing that song when we were little, and there are many people who still sing that. So it's not wrong, it is correct. For the magpie and the humans, they can both go to hell with the mind. All of you, who, what is a true man? This new year, you want to, so we have New Year's and then we have Chinese New Year. Everybody wants to receive blessings. Everybody wants to do better and come up with all kinds of things. And everybody tries this and tries that to have a new heart. But after I received the, the gospel, what I, what I get surprised with is that in the world, there are many zoologists, orthologists, a bot botanist, entomologists. No matter what segment they are in, they don't know the basics. So they seem to look they know, but they really don't know. They don't know. Some people say this. Why is it that in the circus, that when you train the animals, that you train them well, but in the middle of the show, they bite the trainer in, or killing the, the, cus, the people. Why, is that, why does that happen? Because the animals, when they, and then they say it's because of all the stress that gets piled up. The animals only have stress? No, humans have more stress. Humans have more stress. So between humans and animals, what is the difference? The basics people don't know. We all want to receive blessings and do well. Everybody wants to hear that. But what is the basics? You don't know who you are. So you don't go inside Christ. So just like the dog and the pig that you're, and the parrots and, and the magpie, they're all the same with you. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, it's all written there. So you don't know the basis, the basics. And, and then you come up with different names whether it's a it's a masterpiece or a masterpiece that, or whether it's a culture or whether it's... They have come up with all kinds of names. So what, just because a shepherd dog, let's say, has, a, has, has culture, but what kind of culture would that be? What if the, the cow comes up with some great masterpiece? What kind of masterpiece would that be? Just like that, the basics... If you don't know the fundamentals, people don't know. The blessings that God gives, some people say that salvation is the only blessing. That is a problem. Almighty Father, why is it that all He can do is give you salvation? So then, to us, according to the Word, if it doesn't, when we don't do according to the Word, then what's the first thing He does? He takes money from us. But He doesn't only take money or wealth. Because with that wealth, right now, <clears throat> when I go to revivals around the world, why do I stand before you as a witness? Because if I am not right before Christ, let's look up Luke chapter 24. God wants us to be witness of Christ. If you don't do forced repentance, what happens to that? That's what God wants us to, God wants me to witness. Luke 24 verse 48.
All of us this year, we have to receive blessings. It's not just this year, right now. We have to receive it right now. So some people say, oh, but I'm not really sure of myself. So let's, let's receive it as soon as possible. No, God wants you to receive it right, right now. Almighty God is saying, right now, receive blessings. Almighty God, if He's not Almighty, then they would say, oh, well, let's wait and see. Almighty is right away. And that is why, that's why Pang, me, Pang, Pang Musa, when I go to a revival, you know, the paraplegic, they get up and they start walking. Because he's almighty. It's not like, let's wait and see. That's why cancer patients get healed right away. If you have cancer, you have a lot to repent. But many people, they think they just have to have an operation for cancer. But if you have operation, that Satan will stand out, stand outside of you, but will give it to you again. That's what happens again. Please believe in Christ. Please I please believe in Christ. Verse 48. Ready? Go. You are witnesses of these things. Amen. In all things, you are witness. So, but where, where does it say it says Christ? In verse 46 and 47, it's written there. So 46, 47. In all things, we are witness. So that's why Pang Musu, I am a witness for that. Many people giving many people they they steal they steal tithe from God Malachi chapter three then Isaiah forty three verse twenty four if you don't give thanksgiving to me then you're all stealing from me if you do that after that what happens what will come to you you may save money it seems like but how are you going to use that. You're going to give it all over to the hospital. That's how you're going to use it up. And that's why you're going to get sick and you don't even die and you don't even live and because you can't be healed. So wherever I, if I go somewhere and I'm tortured and if I get tortured and tortured and I die, how about that person who actually is torturing? You're going to be an enemy with that person forever. If you want to kill me, just kill me right away. But you don't even kill me, but you don't even keep me alive, but you're, you're tormenting me one year, two years. And if you kill me after that, the, the children and that person who tortures you are going to be enemies forever. So if you're sick and you can't even die and you can't even live and you're, and you're suffering in, in pain for a long time, what is that? That is pain. That is suffering. You're going to be faced with that suffering. So that is worse than dying. It's torture among all, tor it's the worst torture. So if you look at that and you just, you just accept it, you don't even know. At the hospital, you just think, oh, I'll just die like this, which God says that he wants you to die with all this torture. So after you die like that, what's going to happen? All of you, you saw how your parents died. The children are going to die like that, just like you saw. Just like that, you're going to die. The, gen the children of dementia, parents, they're going to die with dementia. Parents who die with cancer, the children are going to die with cancer. If they had lung cancer, then with lung or stomach cancer. Or, and, or on top of that, get another cancer. The children are going to have a worse time dying than the parents. That is reality. Everybody is faced with that. The word is teaching us all this. Sure. Medicine is more developed, but you are actually betraying, slandering the word of God. I'm sure there are doctors here, but honestly, do you? How much do you know about about sickness and diseases? How sure are you when you're teaching your children, your your students? And yet, the word, this word, but you're still looking down on this word and slandering this word. How much do you want to suffer? That how? People are suffering, so that's why they're asking for euthanasia, because they want to die right away. So people think, oh, then let's just let them die, but that's murder then. If some people are like a vegetable and they can't even, they, they're just lying there for years without dying, whether it's 10 years or 20 years, how about the children I mean, and, and the family members? Can you imagine what they're going through? It doesn't just end there. It goes, it's passed down to the children. Isn't this so scary? 
with this, God is saying He will be He will take care of all this and go to heaven and give you blessing, give you happiness, give you fulfillment. That you are that you don't lack anything. That's what this gospel is all about. This, even though it doesn't, it's like it's like almost a lie, but it it's not. It gives you everything. We God wants us to be witness to it in all things. That means that you have to experience after you experience it. This incredible and this even the scariest, but it can be resolved through Christ. God wants you to be a witness of that in all things. So then, is this going to work? Yes. How about that? Does that? Yes. In all things, God wants you to be a witness. So if you're suffering right now and it doesn't work out, oh, is this really going to? I wish that this could get resolved. That God will resolve that. You have God wants you to just be a witness. It's an incredible, incredible blessing. I don't know how much you've meditated on the Word of God and how much you've repented. You know what meditation is? That is repenting. So God is saying, Joshua chapter one verse eight, day and night meditate, day and night meditate. That's why day and night repent. But many people, South Korea, are brothers of faith. They say they're, but they don't repent day and night, and yet they say they're meditating. So they're all liars. So this meditation, you don't even know what it is, and that's why they they're saying those things. So when I was listening to the Christian channel, I heard it myself in Korea. This famous pastor within the top five, their sermon it says, "In one day we meditate four hours or three hours." I don't remember if he said three hours or four hours, but that's what he said. I heard it myself. Aren't they all fake? God didn't say four, five, ten hours. Meditate. No, God said meditate day and night. So Psalms chapter one, blessed person, are the ones that meditate day and night. So how how wrong are you? Get up, and yet you listen to that fake sermon, and then you medit, and then you imitate that. They've actually ruined everybody. Ruined South Korea. In one word, another word. This word. If you just follow, then you you will be the source of all blessings. But if you don't, and then you want to study the word, then you're going to get worse than eight times. You you'll be worse than an average person. You'll be worse by eight times. Worse person than eight average person by eight times. Matthew twelve verse forty five and forty six. So if you say you study the Bible a lot, that person. They are worse by eight times, and so who 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 becomes this bad person? You don't know, isn't that really sad? Why did God say that if you don't believe in Jesus, that you'll be receiving all doom? And why is it that when you believe and the faith leaves you, that why are you why are you going to be faced with calamity? In Matthew chapter. In the Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and and John, because God will put the eight, God will put eight demons in you. If one demon leaves you, then brings back seven plus plus itself. Their eight comes back. So if two or more demons leave, how many demons are gonna be left? Are gonna come back to you? First John chapter three verse eight. The demons attach itself where there is sin. Listen carefully. The sins that come out of our hearts in Matthew fifteen verse nineteen. Even with this wickedness. Evil is ten thousand evil, and and just the sins coming out of your, your heart. If you just leave that, then there could be ten thousand demons in your heart. The word of God is the truth; it'll happen according to the word, and that is why, <clears throat> in all things, God wants you to be a witness. Matthew, Mark, Luke. At the end, God is telling you. Matthew, Matthew chapter one. Matthew, Mark, Luke. In Matthew chapter one verse twenty one, Jesus came because of your sin. In Mark two verse seventeen, he came, he came to call on the on the sinners. In Luke chapter five verse thirty two, to call on the the sinners and to make them repent. That is why Matthew chapter one verse twenty one, Jesus came because of his sin. Mark chapter two verse seventeen, he came to call on the sinners. In Luke five verse thirty two. 
He came to call on the sinners to make them repent. That's why Matthew, Mark, Luke. So people say, oh, history in Mark was written first, so stop, look, stop saying any rubbish. <clears throat> Matthew is for sin. Mark is to call on the sinners and Luke to call the sinners and make them repent. And how about John? That is forced to repentance. That is the four, first four chapters of the New Testament. So the fake people, they don't know this, and they, they, don't have, they, they shouldn't be giving sermons because they don't have the fundamentals. You have to repent, and God will teach you. That's what Luke chapter 24, verse 48. In all things be witness. And that's why all of you, all the difficult things that you're going through, if you receive blessings by changing that into answers, then you, you, then you can be a witness. But you don't know whatever problems you have, God said He will resolve it. He's Almighty. Amen? So then all of you, what's not working right now? Everybody has 10,000 problems. Why? Because, because of that one first sin, the wickedness from your heart, there's 10,000 worries, 10,000 sins. Sure, everybody's different though. Everybody's different, but God will resolve it. Why? Because He will resolve it so you can become a witness. That's why God's saying in Matthew, Matthew, at the end, it says, you become a disciple and teach everybody. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 and 20, teach everybody. But if you want to teach, you should only teach. The only thing you need, you need to teach is actually fearing the Lord, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 10. And that is why you and me, you have to learn force your repentance. That's all we need to learn is force your repentance. Here in all things, you have to be a witness. So all of you, in the 10,000 things that you're being, you, that you're being tormented on, Everybody has different, everybody in all families has all kinds of problems. Why? Because we have all kinds of wickedness. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah, because of adulterous sins, they were doomed. Just like that. Right now, it's like that. And so, it's not just some people have it and some people don't know. So, the sin. No matter how much you sin, no matter how dirty your sin, the sins are, only the blood of Christ will erase it, will make it all nothing. Let's, let's, be thank, let's, keep, let's be thankful for this promise. We have this hope. We have this hope. <coughs> all of you and me, when we sin and we fail and we fall and, and we're hurt, it's not, that is not the problem. The, we have hope that the, all this can be resolved. It can all be changed into blessings. This hope is Christ. Let's look up Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. Christ is hope. And that's why when you're, when you're being a Christian, when you, if you don't do forced repentance, there is no hope. So what problems you have? How can you get resolved? There is no path. So then you, you, have, you have nothing to look forward to. Your, your, your family is, is it. Your children, that is it. No. Anybody. Uh, to become a witness. No matter what problems you have, God will erase all that. And that is why very easily we can say, are you a bad fruit? God will change you into a good fruit. Romans 11 verse 23. This hope, can someone like me, it'll work? My family now, oh, our ancestors did that, but it's just getting worse and worse. We try to avoid the, we try to avoid the, the tiger, but now it's worse. We've, we're faced with the worst things. But Christ is hope. All things, God wants you to be a witness. In the world, even though worldly, in the world, they say it can't happen, but in God, it can happen. And when you know the mystery of Christ, you, there's no other happiness better than this. There's no other, there's no other good news than this. Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. Let's read together. Ready? Go. To whom God willed to make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen. Christ is hope. Force of repentance is hope. 
And that is why all of you and me, when we have problems, only Christ will resolve that. Only Christ is hope. So this hope is Christ will resolve all of our problems. This world has gotten really bad. To what point? <clears throat> the high school students, the women, they're, they're actually videotaping X-rated scenes and they're selling that. Why did, so then when they got caught, they asked them, why are you doing that? To make money. Isn't that so pathetic? A world has turned into such a... Why? Because sins continue to pile up. The dirty sins, the rubbish, instead of erasing it, it just keeps getting piled up. That's why all over your household is this rubbish. So if you change this rubbish and changing it into, into recycle it into good product that you can use, wouldn't, wouldn't that be great? But in the world, there is no answer. Only Christ. Only Christ. This rubbish, it can't be used. This is all, this is all gross. It, it's all bad, bad food and, and, and it's all past expiration date, but he will change it all that. Change it into healthy and change your personality into good personality. And your children, you think, oh no, they're, they can't be changed. Oh, my household is, is it? It's the end. You don't have any hope? But Christ will change all that from nothing to, to something. And that is why. Who is the grandmother of Jesus? She's, she's a prostitute, prostitute Rahab. Why is it in the Bible? Because it can be happened to anybody. That is why. That's why today when we believe in Jesus, you, when you believe in Jesus, can your personality, has it ever changed? How about your parents and your, and your husband? They can't change their personality on their own. Yesterday, probably you probably went to visit your relatives. I'm sure you all had gotten into fight. If you're in Christ, you probably didn't. But those who don't believe, they all go home to their relatives and they get into a fight. And even from the beginning when they meet them. Because why? Because of worldly, wor worldly emotions. That's why. It's full of sin. So after you, everybody has greed. And when you meet each other, and from the beginning you fight. And at the end, it's like a volcano eruption. And then you, and then you part your ways. And that in the world, that's what happens. In the Chinese, Chinese New Year, when, when you go back and, and visit your relatives. But how can you get that result? In the world, there is no answer. But only Christ can do that. Hope is Christ. And that's why when you do, for, only through force of repentance, can your personality be changed. Not only change your personality, but the sickness in your body can be healed. And whatever economic problems can be resolved into doing better. Right away, your life, whatever business you're doing, you're going to give benefit to others and give happiness to others and give benefit to others and, and do better and better to that person. That house, that business, everybody's going to go to that business. What, you're having a hard time, it's not working? Then, or it, it, when, when things are even worse, then people are going to go to that house, that, that business. You have to always show your heart. That's why Luke chapter 6, verse 38, God said, those who give are blessed. Yes, giving is blessed, but what are you, what are you giving? So that when you sow, that's going to come back as blessing. If you don't know, and you're doing it with worldly love, when you give that, then you're going to be betrayed. If you love, if you give worldly love, then as much as you give, you're going to come, and you're going to get repaid with betrayal. Why? Because worldly love, that in itself is sin. You're going to say, oh, I did so, I did, I gave so much to that person and I'm so unlucky. And then you're going to end your life like that. And that is why, even in that life, whatever masterpieces that come out from that kind of person, that kind of life, that's why it's just full of complaints and full of excuses. And it's just doom. And then you, you listen to that poem and you listen to their song and, and you say, oh, that's just like my life. Yes, it is. You're both doomed. That is not hope. It's just doom. When you realize the Word of God and you listen to it, there's no other place that will teach you this. 
you and me, the problems that you're having. God wants you to be a witness. God gave you what God gave you the problems. Isn't this isn't this happy news? Good news? What does that mean? Your sickness, God will heal you. What economic problems you have, God will change all that so that you can be a witness. God wants you to become a witness. Be a witness in all things. Be a, be witnesses. Matthew, Mark, Luke. That's where it's written. That's why. Even if you hold on to this first, oh, now I too can live. Why? Because hope has already come. So starting right now, let's all receive this blessing. Let's all receive this blessing. Me, so that me and my children, and then we can share it with other people. And that's why South Korea will do better and better. Where there's hope, it's not just hope. It's not just doing better based on nothing. No, that's not going to work. There's got to be a path. You can't just say, "Oh, if you just go there, then there's going to be a path." No, don't even try that. Even though it sounds similar, but you're going to go round and round and round. <clears throat> Just like the hemisphere, it doesn't look like it's actually curved. It, it looks straight, but if you if you look at the if you look at 180 degrees of of the ocean, then you can tell that it's actually curved. But if you just look at a little bit, then it looks straight. But it is actually curved. Why? Because the world is round. So if you look at just 180 degrees, then it's going to be curved. That's why the world people don't know how to look at the world properly. Only the word, this word, is teaching us correctly. It's so precious. So, teaching us the right way, our life that is crooked, and God is leading us and, and teaching us to, to go straight, to, so that we can go straight. So, going straight, the longer you go, then that person is going to be a straight person. Good person, right person. God wants us to be like that. And that... And Christ is the le our leader, Matthew chapter 23, verse 10. Let's look that up, Matthew 23, verse 10. And that is for all of you. Hope is Christ, and our leader is Christ. So then, there's only Christ. There's only Christ. So then the mystery of Christ, what, what is that? That's forced their repentance. This incredible will save me, save myself, save my family, and save our country. So why are you going against that? That's not good. That doesn't make any sense. There are other things that you should go against. But if you don't know, then you should just say, oh, because I haven't tried that, I don't know. Be honest about it. You don't even know. So why are you, why are you actually slandering and getting in the way? It's so sad. It is incredible. So I, I want to say that that's worse than ruining the country. Really bad person. So how can that person be a pastor? In all things, to all people be a witness, how can that person who block it be a pastor? That's really sad. People, Other people may not know, let's say, but first you and me, According to the word, through Christ, let's, let's receive leadership from Christ, this hope, according to his promise in all things, let's all receive answers and be witnesses. This, this new year, let this be a new year like that. Starting this new year, according to the word, let's all be witnesses. Amen. Matthew 23, verse 10. Ready? Go. Do not be called leaders, for one is your leader, that is Christ. Amen. So, are there two leaders or one? There's only one. And that's why there's no other person other than Christ who's a leader. Only Christ will lead you. Will lead you up to the right path. Resolve all your path to lead you. So, only Christ. So, Christ, what, did he, what was he a little while ago? He was hope. He was hope. He's not the end. He's hope. So let's say you and I have cancer. Then we're going to be all 
doom, really down. So the doctor said, you only have a few months to live. I have cancer. So you're, this is end, this like end, end of your life. That is not really living. But God says that he will change that despair to hope. So you, all of you, according to this word, oh, this is only St. Paul wrote this. St. Paul wrote that. No, then, if you're looking at it like that, then, then you're fake. So let's say Saint, Let's say you have five employees, and there's Kim Park Che. Let's say there's five employees. So Kim, you're going to ask Kim to go, go bring... Whether you ask Kim or you, you ask Park, the owner is the one that's actually giving, asking them to do. But just because Kim comes, oh, Kim likes, Kim likes to drink. So with this rice, he wants to make rice wine. No, that's your thought. Has nothing to do with the, with the owner. Because Kim did not buy the, the rice. The owner did. So let's say then Park loves rice cakes and you think, oh, he's going to make this He's going to use this rice to make rice. That's how you're actually studying the Bible. For 2 Timothy 3, 3, verse 16 and 17, God moved the hearts of those people who wrote this Bible. So then you say, Paul, St. Paul wrote this, or Matthew wrote, or wrote this. There's no reason for you to, to even learn that. That's actually just, you, you're being doomed by doing that. Theological schools, that's what they're actually teaching. If the owner is telling the, the employees to go, go buy a bag of rice, so don't study about the employees, but you need to study, you need to know the reason for what, why the owner is doing that. Instead, you're saying, oh, Mr. Park is like 90 kilos and he's this height. Why are you studying all that? That has nothing to do with the Bible. That's what people are doing. God is saying, you, you're really dis, Dis despicable. Why are you listening to the word of God as that of, of, of man? Because then miracles will not happen. First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13. There's going to be no miracles. It has nothing to do with you then. But God's going to give us hope today. Who? Christ. In Colossians chapter 1 verse 27. Amen. So right now, even if you're living in despair right now, Oh, I believe in Jesus, but me and my spouse, this personality doesn't get changed. I, I was like A, I was type A when I was born until I die, I'm going to be type A. So what, God can't even change your type of blood? He's not almighty? He's almighty God. And me, this human, can't change this human. You can't even tell the difference. You, have, you are of this certain type of blood. God, if he can't change that, he's not almighty. Then it should be, God can't change the type of blood, then he's not almighty. But Genesis 17 verse 1 says, God is almighty. I am almighty God, it says. So almighty God, if you want to believe that, or do you want to believe the non-almighty God? There's only one God. So that you and me, we think of ridiculous things. That's why according to your heart, God will make it happen. Proverbs 23, verse 7. So then this year, what are you thinking of? What are your thoughts? Your own thoughts are going to be end, is going to, is going to bring you, bring an end to you. Why? Because me, I can't do anything on my own. Who ruined our economy? So, there's so many e economists, and there are hundreds of them who are top economists in the world and or in the country, and they're the ones that actually set the financial goals. But it doesn't work because God is saying, when you do it on your own, it doesn't work. So then, if what I do it doesn't work, then you have to do according to what your leader's telling you to do. Who is your leader? Is Christ? Only Christ. Only Christ. So this Christ is your hope. So in all things, I am a witness God wants you to be. Let's, let's look at Luke chapter 24, verse 48 again. So this new year, according to the word of God, let's, let's learn how to read it correctly and let's all receive blessings. So let's say you are, oh, I'm like this or I'm like that right now. And then you say, it's really funny, I am like type A. 
So type A has this kind of personality. You, you make all this up and then you teach each other. In the Bible, there's no such thing. It doesn't say that if you're of A, type A, you're, or type B, your personality like this. Does it say in the Bible? Why don't you look up in the Bible and let me know if it's there? It's not in there. Why? Because humans, they made this up. Oh, I'm like type O, so then I'm like, oh, like this. Or I'm like A, so then I'm really sharp. Or I'm like B, so then I'm like round and round. You all made it, made it up yourselves. So then in the world, if there's five types of, of blood, there's only five types. But if you look at, if you look at accidents and incidents, there's 10,000 different incidents. Why are you being foolish? Starting with the doctors. The doctors, they, they start with this and then they tell other people and then they're fools. They listen to and believe what the doctors say. And then they fight with each other. And there's only less than 10 types of blood. Why are you all hung up on that? Why are you being so foolish? Let's come to our senses. Sometimes the word of God, after I share this, say, tell you the word of God, and then, and then you say, oh, but the doctor told me to do this. Oh, doctors above the word of God? Even the doctors, they don't even know if they're living or they're dying. They can't even heal themselves. So why do you listen to the doctor? You skip dawn service, but if the doctor tells you after your meal, 30 minutes after, take this medicine, and you're watching the clock. Yeah, okay, so you're following orders, but but let's be, let's follow orders of, of the Word of God, Almighty God. He will resolve all, all your problems and all things be witness. You all want to be witnesses. So why do you listen to other people but the Word of God? Matthew 6, verse 24. You can't do two things at the same time. You can't, otherwise you're lying. So let's say you have a, you have a rabbit on one hand. It's, it's good for your body. And then, and then on your other hand, you have a roe deer. Oh, but today, I'm going to actually follow both of them. I'm going to go and, and catch the rabbit. I said, the rabbit. I'm going to go catch the mountain rabbit, and I'm also going to go catch the, the deer. I caught them together. That means that my legs got split up. That means that it's lying. So stop saying things that are lies. So worldly, if you say, oh, I listen to worldly things, I, I also listen to the word of God. Dang, you're lying. When your husband is having an affair, oh, honey, you, you have many hearts. So you love me and you also love her at the same time. So I'm not unhappy. Do you say that? You jerk, you jerk. There's only one love. There's only one love. I don't know where you heard that. It's according to the Bible. Your heart can only go to one place. Everything else is just not real. Real. Your heart only can only, cannot go to two places, only one. And that is why God said, where your, your treasure is, your heart is there. Matthew 6, verse 21. That's why your, your treasure is, if you put it here, and your heart goes there, then your heart cannot go anywhere else. It's just, and that is why when you do one thing, and then on the side, is asked, they ask you to do something. You say, yes, you're answering, but your heart is here. So no matter what you do, the other thing, you're going to forget about it because you're only doing one thing. So then if somebody on the side, they say, if they don't tell you, oh, you have this other, pro other, other appointment, you're going to forget about it. So then you say, oh, that person's always lying. No, because their heart is at one place. So no matter what's around on the side, it's really their heart is only at one place. So depending on where your heart is, that's why you and your spouse, you have a good relationship, but starting at some point, you actually take, take the other spouse lightly. That means that that spouse's heart is somewhere else. They're, they're, at, they're having an affair. So all of you, while you're on earth, you have to put your heart where it's the, where it's the best. Then you're a true human. But we're just like an animal. You only have a mind, and your heart, your, your, your thinking is that of a mind. What is the level of our country? You can't even tell the difference between spirit and your mind. And the foolish, foolish people, they can't even tell the difference. There are many people. They say, oh, let's 
Actually, let's build this apartment on mind. Mind is all wickedness. Only the Spirit is the Holy Spirit. Because Spirit, Holy Spirit is that of God. So if you want to live, you have to live according to the Spirit. Your Spirit has to rule over your flesh. Then you can live. Romans chapter 8, verse 13. So then, our country, even right on TV, you should listen to the top professors. They don't. They can't even tell the difference between heart and spirit and and mind. And many people listen to that. You have to according to the word of God. Other religions, it cannot happen. Only the only this word. We all have to change according to the word so that our country can live. And before that, we have to. You and I have to live first. First Peter chapter one verse twenty two. Starting with you, you have to become a witness. You have to, starting with you, be a witness, receive blessings, change problems into blessings. Let's all receive this blessing. Luke chapter 24, there's only 24 hours in a day. Chapter 24, 48, 48, verse 48. Ready? Go. You are witnesses of these things. Amen. So if you want to become witness, I have to hold it. I have to experience it so that I can be a witness. Not something that you heard. You have to, you have to experience it. No matter what problems you have, even if just a few hours ago it was last year, but up until now it wasn't worked. This problem, Almighty God said He will resolve that. Then you will be a witness. Amen. So then He will change your fate, change all your problems. Your children will do well. In all things you will do well. Let's all receive this, this blessing this year. Lord, thank you. Oh, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. God, thank you. So then, through what? In verse 46 and 47. Luke 24, verse 46 and 47. God will make you into this person. Let's read with one voice. Ready? Go. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise again from the dead the third day, and that repentance for forgiveness of sins would be proclaimed in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. Amen. It's an incredible saying. Matthew's because of your sin. And Mark is to call the sinners. And Luke is to repent the sinners. And you don't even know that. And the six, six books of the Bible, and you're trying to study that, that's why you're fake. That's why the Old Testament, whether it's New Testament, it's because of your sin and calling the sinners and to make the sinners repent. How? In John chapter 4, forced their repentance. In John chapter 4, John... The book of John is, is forced to repentance. It's only the mystery of Christ through forced repentance. It's the four books of the New Testament. This is Jesus Christ came to earth. This is what he did. This is the four, four books. So no matter what, you have to use the four books of the New Testament to resolve, to understand the six, six books of the Bible. You can't be just a New Testament or the Old Testament there. Otherwise, it's all fake. That's Matthew 5 verse 17. I came to fulfill it. But if you leave me, then it cannot be fulfilled. And that is why when you look at the Old Testament, you have to, if you read it without knowing the first four chapters of the New Testament, because Jesus is Christ. And Jesus, through this forced repentance, through forced repentance, you, all of you can be a witness, no matter what the problems of the New Testament or the, or the Old Testament. This key, this key is the four, four books of the New Testament. So that in the new, in the Old Testament, the Samuel did this, or Eli did this, or Eli did, or Elisha did this. All those things, or Moses did this. In all those things, the four, the four day of repentance, the four books of the New Testament has to go into that to make and to come up with the answer. That's Colossians chapter two, verse eight. <clears throat> God is giving you such wonderful things today. You have to read the Bible based on the four, first four books of the New Testament. Because the New Test, the Old Testament is not 2,000 or 3,000, thousands of years ago. This is your spiritual food right now. Miracles will happen. We're here to receive this blessing. We're here to receive this blessing. It's an incredible promise. 
Your frustration can be resolved. No matter what problems, it can be resolved. Because why? Because you have the key to this mystery. So if you go to a hotel, the, the house cleaning people, they have the master key that can open all the doors. Why? Because they have to be able to open all the, all the, all the rooms. So then it's say, oh, what, what, what kind of key is that? She said, oh, this is a master key. So their accent might be a little different, but it sounds like it's, it's mazulta, that means it's right for everything. Say after me, mazulta key, that means that it's right for every, every key. As long as you have that key, all the rooms can be opened. <clears throat> Jesus Christ will resolve all the problems. All the problems. It will resolve all the problems. Let's resolve this tonight. Let's receive this key tonight so that we all can be witnesses. So exciting. This is not a this is not a competition. This is so exciting. Only Christ will give us happiness. All happiness. All peace. In Romans chapter eight verse thirteen. Romans 15, verse 13. It has to be resolved so you can be happy. He will resolve it so you can be witnesses. But how is he going to resolve it? In verse 6 and 7. And above that is verse 5. Resolve, realize your sins. You have to realize, we all know, re, re, realizing your sins is first. Verse 46 and 47 says, And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ, is it Christ or Jesus? How come Jesus is not in here? Jesus, you don't have to worry about Jesus because he's with God. So you and I, we only have to, we only have to think about and know about Christ. So if you, instead of Christ, if you say Jesus, that's why it doesn't work. And that is why sermon without Christ is a fake sermon. Why? Because it doesn't resolve anything. So God is telling to you and me. He says, Christ. Christ. It's not Jesus. So that doesn't mean that we don't need Jesus. Jesus, as long as we hold hands with Christ, and Jesus is with God. And that's why Christ would suffer. Jesus' is suffering has nothing to do with us. It's on God's side. Christ is suffer and rise again from the dead the third day. First day is realize your sin. Second day you have to live. And third day you're gonna wake, you're gonna get up. And that's Hosea chapter six, verse two. Ephesians chapter two, verse five and six. And that is why rise again from the dead the third day. <clears throat> right now, if you're dead spiritually, and through Christ, when you do force your repentance, and when you do on the third step, you're gonna you're gonna get up, and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be alive, and you're gonna get up, and in the in His name, and that repentance of, of forgiveness of sins will be proclaimed in His name. Ephesians chapter one verse seven. No matter what problems we have, that problem is because of sin. So Garden of Eden, God created the universe, and God created man, and at the end. He said it, it's all good. So why why did they get why did they get chased out? Because of disobedience, because of sin. So ten thousand problems are because of sin. So this sin and these problems with sin, only through the blood of Christ can that be resolved. That's Ephesians chapter one, verse seven. So then in verse forty seven and that repentance of forgiveness of sins will be proclaimed in His name. This repentance of forgiveness, this repentance, if you do up to third step, you're going to live. Why? Because sign of Jonah, when he does the fourth step, miracles will happen. So then he starts with Jerusalem, beginning with Jerusalem, and to all the nation will be proclaimed. And this is force of repentance will be proclaimed. So all of you here, if you can be forgiven of your sins, no matter what problems, you will be healed and you will be 
changed right away and receive blessings. You are dead, but you will become alive and you will be witnesses in all things. You will be witnesses. And that's why as long as you do force your repentance, the mystery of Christ, when you do force your repentance, then you will be witnesses. Amen. Amen. We have to receive this blessing this year. We all have to receive this. We all have to receive this. Isn't it an incredible promise from God? So only through force of repentance, if you know this mystery, when you have the master key, then no matter what room in the hotel, you can, you can open all of them. So no matter what the safety deposit, you can open all of them. This incredible thing, blessing, no matter, God gave this to South Korea. So in the Bible it said, from the east, So if you look at people, South Korea, Japan, and China, they call it the East, Far East. Even though it sounds like somebody's name, but God uses the person, it's not the West. What would happen if it was the West? But God made it. God called it the East. And all the Europe over there, they received the gospel first. They called it West. And that's why Ezekiel, it says, from the East... This repentance, this wave of repentance will save the East and the West and through the Europe, it'll go to Europe. That would be the end. That's what it's recorded in Ezekiel. And that is why from the East, it's not J it's either Japan or Korea or Korea or China, but many people when they see in, in China, it's 1.5 billion. People think, oh, shouldn't that where it, sh it should be given? That's why in, in China, there's many, many famous people. There are many, many things, many, many, many famous philosophers in China. But in China, it's always changing, changing. And how about in Japan? Uh, Japanese people are very honest and they don't... They, they don't steal from other people. If you see if you see a bag in the in in the streets, nobody takes it because if you take it to the police, they'll say they'll actually reprimand you and say, "Go, oh, you should have left it alone, so the owners can come and get it." But in Korea, if you actually get that luggage and 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 take it to the police, they say, "Oh, you did a good job." So then Japan seems very honest, right? So people think, "Oh, shouldn't it be given to Japan?" In the world. Koreans can never become one. In Japan, whenever they get to, they become one. But in South Korea, they're we're like sand. So then it's not going to be given to South Korea. But God, when we get together, because if there's mystery of Christ, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 10, we can become one. Because South Korea needs the most. Because if there's more than one person, they're always fighting. And that's why you and your spouse you're always fighting. That's why spouses in South Korea fight the most. Where there's one, there's more than two. Where there's more than one, you're always fighting. You get into, you, you wed someone, you're so happy, and afterwards you fight. What we need the most is to become one. South Korea, in order for us to become one, the mystery of Christ, Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 10, we can become one. Let's look that up. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 10. We, God wants us to become one. That's why God gave this to South Korea. And this, this is the end. We, it can't happen to us. God will give us hope. Why? Because it can't happen. So we can all become witnesses. This mystery, God has given it to South Korea. So then should we lose it out to Japan? Or should we lose it out to China? Do you want to lose it? Where do you want to lose it to? Why did South God give this to South Korea? So that we can all be blessed and be witnesses. This, this blessing, this master key. Who did you want to lose it to? We all have to receive this. South Korea has to receive this blessing. We have to receive this blessing. Oh Lord, thank you. God is so good. 
It will happen in this new year. Let's read with one voice. Ready? Go. With a view to an administration suitable to the fullness of the times, that is, the summing up of all things in Christ, things in the heavens and things on the earth, in Him. South Korea, our hope is, is becoming one. We want North and South Korea to become one. To become one, we have to go inside Christ. We can't be united. And we can't be united ourselves. Oh, east and West can't become one. You and you and your spouse, you sleep together, but you have, you have your backs to each other. That's what South Korea... Everybody wants unity, but only Christ. You and your spouse can become one. Your, your household can become one. So you and your spouse become one. Your house become one. Our, our country, our denominations will become one. We can't do it on our own. No matter how much we try, you can't be united. Like sand, no matter how much, even if you put it in fire, it can't become one. You have to actually mix it with cement or glue. Something has to make it one. Blood of Christ has to go in there. It has to go inside humans. So this blessing, why do we want to lose it to somebody? But what is really too, really sad is that you spend money to go to all kinds of education. Why is it that you don't even know who what humans are and yet you're still trying to learn all that? If you have your mind, even dogs have mind. So why do you want to say that? If you just look at the Bible once, properly, you won't even say that anymore. So why do you want to spend money to do that? Go, go learn that. You shouldn't. If you know, then you should be ashamed. Even those who actually go and listen, you're the same. So if you, after you do mystery of Christ, you do force your repentance, and then you go and listen to somebody's, somebody else's sermon, you probably can't listen to it. Why? Because it's killing you. So why, why, how can you listen to that? So you, everybody, if you listen to it, you're going to die. So why would you want to listen to that? The, uh, Pastor Park, they don't say that, that because they're all fake. That's why. If you don't go inside Christ, God wants you to be witnesses only through Christ. After three days, why does it say three days? Because He should receive it. We have to add thanksgiving. That's why Jesus said the only thing to show us is sign of, of Jonah. And in and the last step is, is thanksgiving. This, through this force of repentance, we can be witnesses in all things, no matter what problems that get resolved. South Korea, there's hope. Who is hope? Christ. Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. Christ is hope. Force of repentance is hope. No matter what's happening in South Korea, no matter what problems, and the, and the young people are, there, there's problems, there's... Christ is, is hope. This is the only hope. This hope, who's going against it? Our country, how much more problems do we have to be faced before we come to a sense? Let's go back to Christ. Everybody, no matter what problems, this year, let's not, right now, let's get it resolved. Let's all be witnesses. Let's all receive answers right now. Let right now. It'll happen for everybody. All of us. Turn to your neighbor and say, It'll happen for all of you. It'll happen. It'll happen. Let's receive blessings. Re receive. Let's receive blessings. You'll be witnesses. You'll be witnesses. Things have to be resolved so you can be witnesses. We have to receive the master key. We have to receive the master key to resolve all problems. It's master key. Let's all receive answers and let's all live happily. Let's all receive fulfillment. Let's give glory. This giving glory is you and me. You, your sickness have to be healed so you can give. So you, miracles have to happen so you can give glory. That's what John chapter two verse nine through eleven. Water has to turn into wine to give glory. So you and me, we have to give glory to God. It'll happen for everybody. You'll do better and better. Let's save our country. Up until now, this gospel. Many people slandered it, looked down on this, and ruined our country. But even those people, now that, let's pray that they will realize, aha, this is the only hope. So the master key, no matter what the room or the 
safety deposit box, we can all resolve it. Christ, Mr. Christ, force your repentance. Let's all receive happiness. Let's all be successful. And when, you, when you're worthy and when you pray, God will answer your prayers. When you come inside Christ, you're righteous. And only the righteous prayers God will answer. Let's all become righteous. Let's all pray for our country. Let's all, let's all pray. The prayers, when you're not in Christ, you're giving it to the Satan. It has nothing to do with God. Only those who are in Christ, their prayers God will answer. Proverbs 10, verse 24. God only listens to the prayers of the righteous. Philippians chapter 3, verse 9. Only in Christ are you righteous. That's why God only listens to the prayers of the righteous. Let's cry to the Lord three times. Let's all resolve our problems. Everybody's problems, let's get it resolved. All the problems you can't even voice, let's cry out to the Lord. Ask Him, ask Christ to erase the, those problems. Miracles will happen. And let's all be witnesses. God is telling to you and me, this hour, right now, God wants you to be witnesses. And when you pray for our country and our citizens, God wants us to save our country. Let's be thankful that God has called us to do this. Let's all give thanksgiving to God. Right now, this is the time that we need to pray for our country. Let's cry to the Lord three times. Chuyo! 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 Oh Lord, thank you. All of our personal problems, let's receive the master key so that through the blood of Christ, through force of repentance, let's all be resolved. Let's all be healed today. Let's all be resolved today. Let's pray for our country and our citizens. Let's all be righteous tools.